it is a shocking story to begin with, and now it has taken another strange twist. Hillsborough County deputies say a mother and her 12-year-old daughter, who were pulled out of a burning car in their garage on Saturday, had a suicide pact. Well, now authorities are saying that the woman was in the middle of a custody battle with her ex-husband, who was charged with beating her just two days earlier. News Channel 8's Lauren Make is live in our Tampa newsroom tonight with more details on what is becoming a story with so many different layers. Yeah, Keith, now after the fire over the weekend, the ex-husband of Nancy Lowe and the father of the 12-year-old girl was arrested. Deputies say they learned that he had gone to the house and hit Nancy Lowe with his hands and with a lamp before this fire and this so-called suicide pact. But when he appeared in court today, new details came out that really just leave us with more questions about what's going on. That burglary committee and James Clark's that side of the story came out in front of a judge. Clark was there for a bond hearing on charges he went to his ex-wife's home and beat her up. But support for that story may be slipping. She originally confirmed what her mother was saying about this beating and then she changed her story when. An assistant state attorney says Clark's 12-year-old daughter has changed her story. And that could change what we know about a fire on Timberbrook Court Saturday afternoon. The daughter and her mom, Nancy Lowe, were pulled out of a burning car in the garage. They were treated for burns and smoke inhalation, and deputies say they found notes inside the home that indicated the mom and 12-year-old girl may have had a suicide pact. Deputies say they also learned Clark went to the home and battered Lowe on Thursday. His attorney says he was never there that day. On the 25th, it's alleged that Miss Lowe entered her vehicle with her daughter in that vehicle, set the vehicle on fire. This is after my client reported the kidnapping. The couple recently divorced was in the midst of a custody dispute. Just days before, Clark filed a report with the Pasco Sheriff's Office saying Lowe didn't return the girl when agreed to. Fast forward to the 25th, he receives a phone call that his house is on fire um, and his daughter may be inside that residence. He drives to the residence and that is where he's arrested in relation to these charges. Judge Walter Heinrich set bond at $15,000 and with questions still unanswered, issued a warning for Clark. You're not allowed to see, talk to, or live with the 12-year-old child that's referred to in these reports until they can sort out whether or not she's being coerced into changing her story or not. Now, Clark's attorney claims that the mother has filed false domestic violence claims in the past. At this point, there is no change in the charges against James Clark and no word on whether the mother could face scrutiny or charges in this situation. The investigation is still ongoing. Live in the Tampa Newsroom, I'm Lauren Make, News Channel 8.